Hey guys, how we doing? Uh, Chase here. It is the month of July, the seventh month in the year. We are deep in the dog days of summer, the dog days. It is unbearably hot. Uh, I'm still wearing layers every day. I'm still wearing pants, uh, as you'll see from this fit. I kind of disregard the sun and I wear what I like to wear. Um, anyway, point being, we're back with a July uh, staff picks. Favorite fits. It's gonna be sick. Uh, I know Ian picked some, some wild stuff. We're gonna have Alec on. And uh, yeah, so as you know, we picked some fits from the store and we put it together, talk about why we like the items and give us some uh, explanation on it. So uh, yeah, favorite fits. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, y'all, here we are. Uh, as, I, as I stated in the intro, the dog days. Fortunate enough here that we have AC. So uh, I'm kind of going with the layered look here. We got fall, winter deliveries, you know? So it's gonna be primarily stuff for winter, which, uh, you know, is a little puzzling to some folks, but it's what we're getting. So it's hot out, got some long sleeves, got some jackets. Let's just hop right into it. I'm gonna start from the top down. I uh, got these cool Fear of God hats. I really think the silhouette on this hat is sick. I love like, despite me wearing this one, clearly a structure. I love unstructured caps. Um, super loose, uh, like upper, you know? And then the brim itself, it has, has, a, has a loose nature to it, but has this elastic in the back. So it's just gonna be, a, it's gonna fit like pretty, like a pretty shallow cap. Um, I imagine like an old fella golfing would be wearing this, but it's a cool shape. Going with this one up top, starting on the, uh, the, the, the closest layer to my skin on my torso will be this EG work shirt. Um, I'm always a fan of the Engineering Garments work shirts. They do them every season, always. Uh, fit changes here and there, fabric changes, you know, longer, shorter, wider, what have you. Uh, this season, this is the one that I'm currently spinning on. It's a hemp blend. It has like a super, uh, you know, hairy texture to it. I would assume as you wash and wear, it'll kind of fade similar to like, a one wash pair of jeans from Orslo or something, but it's gonna look really cool. You get some nice elbow fading, but uh, I particularly love the fabric on this, both for texture and the drape. It's gonna go underneath the jacket, so I want it to be nice and long. I love these side gussets here, so you kind of get the proportions popping out of the front and back. Um, so I, I really like how these look from the side in particular, which uh, weird or not, that's how I kind of how I process it. And then on top of that, is this dope ass Our Legacy shirt jacket. Um, got the two nice pockets here up front, tonal buttons. It's, I know it's gonna have a little bit of room, so it's gonna be able to accommodate going over top this work shirt, but more than anything, it's gonna be like texture on texture with a nice color and the work shirt popping out underneath. Just a, you know, a solid black uh, option for top, you know? And then my girlfriend and I have been watching that show on Apple TV with Tom Holland called Crowded Room. And when he is in jail in that show, uh, didn't mean to spoil or anything, but you know, whatever, watch the show. He's wearing khaki fatigues with like some white slip-ons. I think it's so sick. And so I've been kind of thinking about khaki fatigues right now. I got the US Army one, so it's gonna have the button fly. They're gonna be wider. They're not the slim fit version. Uh, I'm gonna cuff these to uh, one, to show the white sock, but two, I like the, like the full nature cuffed. But these are sick. Uh, might try these on, you know, after the fact for adding my personal collection of fatigues because I have a gang of them. None are khaki yet, but going with this, uh, it's gonna be anomalous compared to the rest of the blue and the black in the outfit, but I think with pants, it's gonna be cool. And again, it's gonna be broken up by like the white sock proportionally. And then the shoes, the Acro mount from uh, Onitsuka Tiger. So I, I, I believe I've talked about these before on the YouTube, but absolutely they're pulling some inspiration from, you know, climbing shoes or like approach shoes, which is obviously massive out here in Colorado. Shout out Alec, he's a big climber boy, but uh, more than anything, I wanted the color. I wanted the black and I wanted the gray um, to kind of tie in with like the hat and the jacket, but it's gonna be broken up by blue and khaki in between. And overall, I think this silhouette is really cool. I think it's like, it's one of those sneakers where like it's certainly different than other sneakers you're gonna have in your closet, but like in a very wearable way. Super approachable. 
um, has this, you know, chunky kind of wider than the upper situation going. So they look kind of cool from, from top down, but uh, mostly for color here. Uh, I just wanted something black that wasn't just like a standard like XT6 in all black or something like that. So I got this down low. And yeah, uh, as always, I'm kind of going with proportion here, uh, proportion and texture. Uh, it's all about how it fits for me. Fabric and stuff's cool, but if it fits poorly, I don't really care. So kind of picked all this stuff uh, just to kind of see how it fits and to play with how it fits on my body compared to say like the slim fit version of the fatigue or you know what I'm saying. But anyway, I'm gonna toss it on and let's see. Hello everybody, it is the hot, hot, hot month of July, right? Okay, <laughs> hot month of July here, and I've got a hot smoking fit for you. Um, I kind of went with a look at me kind of vibe. I want all the attention on me, bright colors, crazy frills, lots to see, so um, Let's see if it looks good or bad. <laughs> um, hopping right into it on top. Capital bucket hat, nice lightweight for the summer. Nice bright green, almost like a watermelon green. It's kind of what I'm going for when you see the glasses. Um, but yeah, really straightforward. I like the little capital pendant on here. I'll probably wear it with that facing forward so you can see and I like how it changes the tones of green throughout. And like I said, to pair with the hat, I have these, uh, I believe this is Shady Characters, sunglasses, or no, these ones are Sauvage, my apologies. But bright pink and with the green, like a nice slice of watermelon on a hot summer day. Whoop. For the tea, another capital piece here. You'll start to see that theme. Uh, I just really like this graphic. It reminds me of something that you would find like in the bins or at a thrift store that uh, was vintage, just some like random print they did back in the 70s. Uh, I love what Capital did with this. It's kind of like throwing up his lightning on the tree, the poor unsuspecting tree. Nothing on the back. Uh, this is the biggest size we have left, size two. Um, it'll probably fit me, but it'll definitely look a little retro, high and tight in the arms. Um, as intended. So, moving on from that, I have this awesome capital piece here. Uh, it's very similar to the one we had a few months ago, but this one is frilled out all the way around the back, down the arms. Uh, this is crazy. This is probably something I wouldn't wear on a normal day, but I was feeling like I wanted to step outside the box a little bit, get out of my comfort zone. Um, you know what? It's really not that crazy. Just just have some confidence, you know, and, and go for it. That's that's my advice for anyone wondering, would this look good on me? All right. And that's like lightweight, almost like a cotton denim-ish feel. Finally, not finally, still have more to go. Sorry, sorry. Um, this is the Prism Works uh, corduroy shorts. I just picked it because it's a nice lilac color. Uh, they also have like kind of a long inseam as well. Uh, kind of like the Orslo shorts I'm wearing now. Just kind of like that baggier look. And yeah, pretty straightforward. Lilac corduroy shorts from Prism Works, adding to the insane color palette. And finish it off. I'll probably just wear plain white socks or you could definitely do this with no socks. Um, nice like, summery beachy vibe um, but these are 1461 shoes by doc martens pink mauve bubblegum suede whatever you want to call the color uh, like i said colors 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 that's the reason why i chose these uh, the suede is nice too it kind of looks like not like too pristine like a nice vintage look almost
All right, guys. Uh, hello, my name is Alec. It is the beautiful month of July, and today I'm here with my favorite fit for this month. Um, it's uh, super hot out. Ian and Chase probably already mentioned that, but everybody's melting the second we stand outside. So we are just, uh, you know, bunkered in and waiting for better days. Okay, I'm just gonna get into it. First piece, this is the Orslo Oxford in the dust blue colorway. Um, you know, it's just your typical run of the mill um, Oxford, but it's Orslo, so it's way neater than that. Um, big fan. You know, when I was in high school, I used to have these khakis and a blue Oxford that looked exactly like that, and that was my um, that was my attempt to look nice that day. So, you know, we're kind of just bringing it back to uh, when I was 16 and still acting the way that I am. All right, next piece on the docket. We're doing a little bit of layering today, despite the weather. This is the Capital Stripe Long Sleeve shirt. And, you know, it's just a blue striped shirt, horizontal lines going through. Um, you got the smiley faces on the elbows. And fortunately, you're not gonna be able to see it with this fit that I planned out today. But, um, you know, you gotta leave something to the imagination, as you all know. Um, pant region. These are the uh, Distressed Carpenter pants from Double RL, and the wash is just fantastic right out of the gate. Um, you can only imagine what it's gonna look like once you run it through the cycle a couple times, but um, Distressed pants, you got a little bit of wear and tear. Looks like they've been worn a few times, and you know, it's just like a beautiful pair of pants, and I'm excited to try them on. All right, shoe region. Um, when I first started working here, I chose these shoes to go along with my favorite fit and I was wearing this Corridor Cloud Cardigan and it was like my favorite thing. Um, we no longer have it. It's very sad because I think about it at least every night when I go to bed. Yeah. But these are the CDG Converse's, um, you know, the blue colorway. Hopefully it'll match the fit that I have going on today and um, yeah, just a Another one of these uh, items that we have in the store that I have yet to pick up, even though I eyeball them every day. But um, yeah, we're gonna try everything on and see how it plays out. Um, let me know what you guys think. All right, y'all, thank you for watching. Uh, this one was a fun one. As I said, it's extremely hot, so it's kind of fun to try to figure out what you're gonna wear. But, you know, if you're lucky like us here at the studio, we have air conditioning. We kind of wear whatever, keep the doors closed, keep us locked in from the outside world, uh, the way I like to live my life. But anyway, that's that. Like, comment, subscribe. Please be in touch if you have any questions. We've got a ton of stuff coming soon. La Mer is on the way, Orslo is on the way, Henner Scheme is on the way. Just got our first shipment of engineered garments. Um, a couple big collabs coming this fall. Uh, I'm super stoked. I'm super psyched. Stoked to the max about it. So, yeah, be in touch, guys. Thank you for watching.